told me about how August 15th was the day that he lost faith in the government. Yep. My family is from a state in India called Punjab. And when that partition happened in 1947, right. they split up the state of Punjab. And the government lied to the people in Punjab right. who were living there, my family. Yeah. And so my grandparents, when they found out that the line was not going to be where it was, my grandparents lost everything. They lost their home. They lost family members. My grandfather saw people being killed. And that happened on August 15th, 1947. And then 24 years later, the same day, the United States... Took the dollar off the gold standard. Nixon did. That's crazy. It's as, as, as not only that. It's when I went to military school. So we studied different types of history. You look at the American flag. It's the flag of the British East India Company. The sun never sets on the British Empire. So Hawaii was a British Empire. India, Australia, New Zealand, America. It's really interesting to study history. It is. Not from the academic side. They probably call you a conspiracy theorist. Of course. Are you? No, I'm a historian. I like history. But, see, when I was, when I came back from Vietnam in 1973, I got spit on, I got hit by eggs and all this, by these hippies who went to the Woodstock generation. My own, you know, baby boom generation. And here I am. I just lost a lot of friends and all this. We're fighting... We're, we're killing communists in Vietnam. It was horrible. You know, I mean, you know who's killed the most people in history? Communists. And that's who we're fighting. So Americans fight against people who murder people. So the sad thing about it is, is that we have a history that's not history. It's massaged. It's, it's fabricated. Well, they say the winners write the history books. Correct. And so that's why you look at the American flag the flag. That's why I love talking to you because we're brothers here. Hawaii was taken over by the English. India was taken over by Australia. You know, South Africa. It's the, the sun never sets in the British Empire. Well, why don't they teach us that stuff? Why is the American flag? And they say, oh, Betsy Ross sewed it. Bullshit. Look at the look at the, look at at the the flag of the British East India Cup and you'll see the American flag. <laughs> I'm trying to say the same. 1930, the Frankfurt School out of Germany, which was Marxist, moved to Columbia University Teachers College. And that's where it started in America. I'm a student of history. You know, it's like, you know, there was a guy named General Patton. And we studied the great generals. Patton was a great general because he led from the front. Most 